Hi, so June is officially here and that only means it's my birthday month and that also means that yes, I'm a Gemini and in the true spirit of embracing my duality after spring cleaning my closet, which right now is like a mess I've come to the realization that I tend to go for things in pairs and it's not just a casualty it's a repeated behavior I can't do a full closet tour because it's not in the condition that I would like it to be and also I think it's a bit obsessive and a lot. I will try to share with you the things that were kind of worth it just as much for me to get them in a different color or a different variation of sorts. And I think that the first thing that really started this whole of doing it in pairs was my RT rings. Do you remember these? Oh my god, I still have them. I think it was the entry level for being a fashion blogger. You had to have one of these. It happened, and it happened twice for me. I'm guilty as charged. Continuing with the accessories, I have these voice Prada sunglasses. Not exactly the same, but they are kind of the same. So as you can tell, they are a bit different in shape. So yeah, they're not the same. These have only two stones here in the front, and these have three, and the shape is a little different. They're different, okay. These two Ralph Lauren Western sunglasses, which are really too small for my face, I feel, but they are so cool, like vintage feeling, and with the brown when I was blonde, they were a good idea. If I could have, I would have got all of the colors, but they were just too expensive. Do I really need to say that I really gave in to the whole Fendi bag bug thing? Yeah. The law of a knot. Actually, I've been mad hunting for the yellow and the red one. So far, these are the only ones that I've managed to get my hands on. But yeah, if I could, I would get them in all colors. If I really like something, I go for it in pairs. Because after I did my bag review, I was just so convinced how much I really love this bag that I ended up getting it in the taupe color. The puzzle. If I could, I would get it in like many colors and different sizes, but I got both of the pouches. So now I have a beautiful family right here of puzzles. When I do Margiela, I do it hard. And for starters, if I'm going to do the Breton, I do it in a way that is not basic and boring. It has to be Margiela. This is like a very heavy fabric and it has shoulder pads. It looks really stiff against all of the coolitude and easiness that a Breton shirt is. So yeah, they're different because the neck is different and they're not the same color, you know. That's how I justify it to myself. And the classic, the eight t-shirt. I think this was the first that I got, then I got this really big oversized one, and then I got this one that was a little bit different, until I got this. I think this is a pièce de résistance with all of the letters in metal embroidered to the shirt. Thank you, Martin Margiela. And so when I do Margiela, I do it hard. I said it before. Like for example, the cowboy boots. These were the most iconic ones that um, got more press but these were also on the runway so when I had the chance to get them, I got them and I love them too much. And I'm not a cowgirl kind of girl but if Margiela does western, I'm all for it. And because, you know, they're not the same but they are the same, I first got this, they're the oversized sandal, like you are like a little girl getting into your mother's shoes and they're like too big on the end so that's why I got them but then right after I found the the disco ball shoes now they have a happy place together but they're so different that's why I cannot get rid of you know the ones that are less special but they're Barbie shoes so I'm a sinner and a saint yes these are like the ankle sandal boots that started this whole thing of being completely covered but with your toes on display and from 2007. These are not thigh high, these are crotch high. I really love them. My legs are not that skinny so that I can get them all the way up. And if you saw my last haul, you saw that I got the exact same pair as a backup because I have this same pair but they're like a little bit worn in. I thought it would look cool with this outfit too. But I have the high heel version 
with the elastic on the front. And so yes, they're technically different, but they are the same. The iconic Astro Girl boots by Nicolas Gesquier. It was not enough for me to have the black pair. I also got the white because Look to Rare made me do it. Like if you are in the blogosphere for a long time, you know who Look to Rare is. And she made these boots so desirable. I've worn them just a time because when I got them, they were like, these I think are the most that I've paid for a pair of shoes. So yeah, I still keep them like a little treasure in my closet. This is a true example of my Cinderella stepsister syndrome. These are a size 40, these are navy. These are a 38, I think. Yes, these are a 38, these are the green. And these are a 36. Exactly, yes, a 36, a 38, and a 40. And I am a 37. Neither of these pairs fit, but I make them fit. That's how much I really love them. My mom hates them, but, you know, they get me closer to heaven. I guess that the first thing that I got were this Poseidon sandals, and then later on I got the boots. And I love them both equally, even though they're practically the same color scheme. They're not. And they have a purpose in my closet. Thank you. The sexiest shoes that I own that I cannot walk in are this really beautiful and insanely painful shoes. These are like my guns. Like I love them, I can't walk in them, so. But I cannot get rid of them because they're beautiful. My sensible, realistic pair of shoes that are just a simple pair of suede pumps with zipper on the side. Yeah, that just have like a zipper, like all along the edge. I hate brown, but I got them brown. Like why? I don't know because I like them. Searching high and low for these shoes and when I found them, I found them in both versions and I just couldn't decide which one I preferred so I got them both and I've worn them a lot and they're impossible to walk in but they're super cool and they're like a geisha meets a ballerina, I don't know. And the Prada Creepers versus the Prada that everybody wore creepers. <laughs> yeah, they're fun, they're wrong, they are rude, they are everything you shouldn't buy, but if they're Prada, you prefer to keep them than to have nada. And talking about Prada, these are my David Bowie 70s, completely ridiculous, but super cool, they're from the same season and they're so different, but they are, oh, they're amazing. I'm happy to have rescued them from the sale rack. So the Miu Miu candy shoes that were so popular back in 2000, I don't know, these were from 6 or, yeah, I think that these are fall, winter 2006. And these were also from the collection, even though they look completely different. They are like, in my mind, this go together. They're like a happy family. They're technically not the same, but they are the same because these are the glove sandals, the so popular Balenciaga glove sandals. And I've got the boots. So, yeah, they're not the same, but they're kind of like the same. Like, they have a special place in my closet. And I think that this is like the true testament to how much I I am like committed. I am not playing games. If I like something, I really like something. These are the iconic Givenchy chain boots by that the Olsen twins made so popular. These have been with me over five years and I've worn them to death, as you can tell. I even had them resold, but that's like not really working. I've changed the heel many, many times, but they need to be retired. Or like, let's be honest, I'm just gonna take them to repair and give them like an extra year because that's what I plan to do. But I needed them to have like mental sanity, to know that if all else fails, I will always have my trusty Givenchy wedge boots. Because no matter what, they always work with whatever that is that I'm wearing. And just to end this in an ironic note, my running shoes. Yeah, 
They're the same. I always end my videos with a I hope that this was useful and blah, blah, blah. But this is not useful, neither for you nor for me. But this was just for sheer entertainment and that you get a glimpse to what the hell is here in my closet. And I'm sure I'm missing a pair or two that are like twins, but I just can't really seem to figure it out. This is just as far as I could go. So yes, thank you so much for watching and until the next one, peace. Oh, and by the way, yes, this is sweat.